In today's video, we go batty as we have a look at the Diamond Select DC Vinnie Mates. This is Batwoman. Several centuries later, this reviewer finally gets around to having a look at the rest of the Vinnie Mates, already having a look at Batman, and recently having a look at Catwoman. Let's go ahead and take the tape measure and figure out how tall Batwoman stands. We'll put it right there. There we go. The Ultra Measuretron 5000 says that this Vinnie Mate stands 4.3 inches in height or in centimeters, 10.9. 10.9 centimeters is Batwoman. And here's what the other ones look like. There's Batman, there's Catwoman, and there's Batwoman in the middle. Wanted to do this sooner, but adult responsibilities got in the way of things. I never got a chance to review these sooner. Oh, being an adult sometimes. Just frustrating. So much, so much to do. Never enough time. Anyways, here's what the figures look like. This is what the Vinny mates look like when you put them all side by side. I have to admit, though, the Batwoman is probably my least favorite of the three. Way to start this review on a high note. <laughs> Anyways, here we have Batwoman as a Vinnie mate, and like I said, I probably would say this is my least favorite, and it's not so much necessarily the fault of the Vinnie mate, it's just the fault of the fact I'm not a big fan of this design of Batwoman. Now, this is kind of coinciding with the Batwoman, I think she is in the Elseworlds, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't even follow... I don't even follow on TV, CW, superhero shows. Don't try to convince me otherwise. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't get right into that. But I think we actually are getting ourselves a Batwoman who has possibly already appeared on, on TV. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? But I'm not a big fan of this design of Batwoman. Or certain designs, certain like figures of her haven't been terrible, but the design just doesn't wow me that much. What I have always liked, though, is the red and the black that Batwoman has here. The Bat Emblem, for example, or Batwoman Emblem, is done here in almost like a dark burgundy color. The same burgundy that makes her makes its way into her little clampy clampy little lobster hands and uh, the utility belt and, of course, her lower boots. The head sculpt is good, uh, once again, being that it's a new Vinnie Mate. I don't know why they removed the articulation. They used to have them, and then pfft, they just got rid of them. Just maybe not necessarily with that noise, pfft, but they just got rid of them. She's got some nice silver happening here on the side of her face. Uh, normally, they would not have noses, but sort of like what they've done with Batman. They've given you the, the little peak, the little point of the, uh, the cowl nose, but... She really wouldn't have a nose underneath that if you were to unmask her, which unfortunately I can't do because she's already sculpted in place. The hair is nice. It does kind of look flat. Kind of looks flat like it. She, she's been laying down for a while and she got up. It's a little on the flat side, but it is nicely sculpted as well as the cape, which as you can see kind of has a nice spread sculpt to it. It's made of a denser plastic, kind of sim similar to Batman's. Uh, the pose is good. At least she's doing something. I think, again, my favorite is probably probably Catwoman, I think, of the three. But it's got a neat-looking pose. I just kind of wish that sometimes these Vinnie Mates would come with accessories. They sort of tease you with these little lobster hands, but they don't give you any accessories that could fit into their hands. Why is that? I, I don't know. Maybe down the road, future Vinnie Mates could actually come with accessories. But in the meantime, we can kind of just enjoy the splendor of these non-posable versions of Mini Mates, which is essentially what the Vinnie Mates are. She doesn't have head posability, for example, nor does she have arm art posability, nor does she have waist posability. She has sort of staction. Um, it also looks like her leg is a little bit longer than this leg here, but it's only really just because that leg is bent and this leg is not bent. Uh, again, nice sculpt on her cape. Um, again, I'm not super crazy on this design of Batwoman, but I think Diamond Select has done a pretty bang up job on her, even doing the kind of slender 
printing that they've put on the square torso, similar to what they also did with Catwoman. I think my only real takeaway from these, and uh, once again, we'll bring in the we'll bring in the other two. There's once again, there is Catwoman, and there's Batman, looking great. This represents this wave. Now finished it. Yay! Finished it. Uh, my favorite, though, of the three is Catwoman, clearly. Uh, just like the pose of her. She's got a really pretty face. Not that Batwoman, I'm sorry, Batwoman, she's not that she doesn't have a pretty face. But uh, she also has a really pale face, if you've noticed. If you compare, really, the three of any mates together, uh, Batwoman, by far, has the palest complexion. I don't know if she's a little under the weather, but uh, she definitely doesn't have as much the warmer uh, skin tones as the Cape Crusader or Catwoman on the other side here. Now, you know me, I'm a big fan of Vinnie Mates, but somehow this one doesn't wow me as much as the Batman or the Catwoman. It's not necessarily what Diamond Select has done for it, because I think she's got a good-looking sculpt and she's posed in a neat-looking way, but I just don't like the design of Batwoman. Now, I know I may sound like a hypocrite, because there have been instances in which we've looked at Batwoman, and I've liked the design of it, but I think that's more so the bombshells version of Batwoman. She just really had a neat looking look to her. This Batwoman, on the other hand, is okay, which, as an okay design for me, translates also to a slightly okay Vinny made of her as well. Now, take my opinion with a grain of salt if you're a big fan of the Batwoman design. Let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, you'll be happy to know that not only Batman, but Catwoman and also Batwoman are available now at your local comic book stores if you wanted to pick this one up for yourself. Price point on these are really affordable. Generally, they're about $10. You, I've been to some stores where they charge a little bit more for that, but I think on average, they're about 10 to $12 if you wanted to pick them up, which is comparable to that other vinyl figure. You can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing the bunny ears, that other vinyl figure line. This one's a little bit more exciting, even though I'm not a big fan of Batwoman's design. I still think they did a pretty good job on her. Today, once again, we are having a look at the DC Vinnie Mates. This was Batwoman vinyl figure from the folks over at Diamond Select. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Diamond Select reviews, there's a whole playlist called, yeah, you guessed it, that was, a, that, probably, that was probably a simple one. Diamond Select. Yeah, there's a whole playlist just for Diamond Select stuff. And also, while you're at it, why not swing over to the homepage, check out some of the videos that have been posted in recent memory or recent timeline. Recent memory would be specific to the person. If you have a short memory, for example, and think, I don't know if I've, re I've watched every one of his reviews. It's quite possible that you haven't because this guy posts a lot of content, but the best way to guarantee you that you haven't missed out on anything or to remind you, if you do have a bad memory, swing on over to the homepage, check out the thumbnails there and see if there's any videos you may have missed along the way. We're gonna have a look at some more Diamond Select stuff coming your way in some future videos. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.